stop me. Stop you, you know, I speak too fast, okay? Because I speak too fast as well. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. So, uh, Noom, tell us about the first time you arrived in England. How was that experience and what did you do? Um, it was like almost like a culture shock for me when I first arrived in the UK. But luckily, as an exchange student in Canada when I was 16, on an AFS student program, an exchange into culture program, so I was more kind of like getting used to it, getting used to the climate, the cold climate, cold weather. And getting used to the people, I mean, the West is European, but I found it, uh, I must have, uh, because in England I found it cold, but in Canada it was colder, but in England it's kind of like, it's typically kind of bitterly, bitterly cold, so that's what what, do, what does bitterly mean? Bitterly, you mean like, the, the, the coffee is bitter, right? When you drink coffee is bitter, the medicine is bitter, you don't, want, you don't want to swallow, it's kind of, you know, kind of like, oh, why are you too cold? I can't stand it, it's too cold, you know, bitterly cold. Really, really, extremely, extremely, very, very, very cold. <laughs> Sorry, bitterly cold. Anyway, um, and I, I, I have, well, well, I was blessed the fact that I managed to get on or to get along well with, with people and with my foreign friends. Uh, there were a few Thai friends as well, but I decided to make mingle, you know, mingle, mix, yeah, mix and match, mix, integrate. I want to be your friends from Malaysia, I want to be your friend from Brazil. Italy, France, you know, all over the world. I would like to be friends. I want to be your friends too, Thai friends, because I'm from Thailand, right? But I don't want to speak Thai to you. <laughs> That's how I, I'm sorry, I may sound a bit like first, what was it, boastful or too confident, but I think um, having your confidence is very important in the UK. You have confidence, I can see it, I can send you confidence, and you have confidence well, and I love uh, Thai students who come. Okay? Yeah, that's how I found it. Yeah. Right. How do you, you know, like when you're learning English, right? Sometimes you just get, when you're confused or you just don't know what to say or you don't have a friend to talk to, you just don't want to speak it. So, what's your motivation? That's how, a good question. That's what, how would you advise to uh, motivate? I managed to speak? take advantage of making, you know, local friends, English local. friends in England. They took mine. Yeah. They really took mine all the time. They put your mind to all talking to you in English. They put my slogan down at speed, trying to know this is what you mean, this is why I mean this, I'm trying to stand you. And it just really helps so much. But if I go around, you know, I go back to my Thai friends, they can make them in Thai. They would not stay in English. But they would help me as well. But I would like to, you know, to come with me and talk to local people, British people, and explain, like lecturers, teachers, like in, in Thailand, it's different, right? You seem to go uh, to your friends uh, for advisors. Uh, tell me this. These questions, I can't do my homework, you know, we work together, right? Don't try to copy and paste. <laughs> you know? But most of the time in the UK, if you've got problems, you approach your teacher. Excuse me, teacher, how can you help me out with problems? I've got problems with my homework, you can help me. And I'm like that. So I, I practice, I practice myself to become a bit more confident. But there are times when I'm struggling, you know, struggling. It's like, well, I'm not sure, but I'm not shy. I wasn't sure, but I wasn't shy. You know, I wasn't sure what I would like to say, whether they were going to stab me, but I wasn't shy. So the fact that I wasn't shy helped me a lot. Do you agree? Do you agree? Of course. If you try to be a century international college, you gain benefits so much. A lot of benefits, lots of benefits in terms of speaking English to foreign teachers, lecturers, being taught by you know, foreign teachers. Well, Thai teachers are not speaking English like me, you know, or maybe to with different accents. Not with Thai accent, but with British accent or American accent. You know what I mean? So it helps a lot. I'm sorry that that answered your question, yeah, but sure, yes. related to my own experience. Yes. Uh, what are the top three difficulties they will have when they arrive in England, and how can they address them? Of course. Uh, what do you think? I think you could answer this question for me. English uh, is the most challenging thing for you, apart from many other things like food, culture, uh, language barrier. You know, language barrier which means, you know, in some area, um, you know, you can't see your friend, you can't see what's behind this area there. So which means you need to try to, uh, what should it, reduce your barrier, well, destroy your barrier by, uh, you know, improving your English. Here, when you when talk to the UK, talk about the three, uh, three plus one, you want to go to UK, you need to improve your English. Second year, do a lot better, everyone, I'm sure. 
We do a lot better now, but more the third year and fourth year, you've been doing the best to your excellence. And I'm sure that you'll be able to be ready to get to earn a DBA perhaps 3.5, 3.25, or no, 3.5 uh, GBA, you are accepted, I'm sure, uh, to study abroad in the UK, in, in, in New Zealand, or we're talking about UK now this time. So I would like to, you to uh, fuel your dream of going to the UK. And uh, what else? Well, food. Luckily, I can cook. Are you, you can you cook? No, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> can you cook? Really? Just, well, everyone cook, right? New, gen cook. new generation, they're a new generation. New yeah. generation. <laughs> well, back then, I was a good cook, but I you know, went to Chinatown, for example, no tight towels. No tight towels when you go, but only tight towels. So I managed to get you know, stuff from Thailand, ingredients from Thailand, maybe made in China, I don't know, but, 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 but Blue Dragon, I've heard of it. Yeah, Blue, Blue Dragon. Dragon is a brand, big brand in Oriental food, Oriental products. So I managed to get some of them. Went shopping and you know to go and cook you know basic dishes you know basic dishes not difficult not hard but then after a while I learned and I enjoyed cooking because a lot of what it's not expensive you know right. if you have to keep buying food you know going to restaurant all the time it's very expensive okay so but that's why Thai restaurants are very popular in the UK you are you become a rich you know a rich person. Thai yeah, you know, I, in, in the Thai UK, restaurant. in the UK, there was one Thai restaurant and they were selling tom yum gum, right? How much? And how much it costs? You know how much it costs? Can you guess? How much is it? Guess. In Thailand, or in Thai a bowl of soup. Of the one soup. One small, small bowl of yeah, tom yum gum. How much do you think? One hundred bucks. More than that. Huh? More than that. It's about five hundred. Ten pounds. Ten pounds. No time. rice, no rice, just just the soup. <laughs> Ten pounds. I was like, I, I I went to I was speaking to the restaurant owner and I said, um, I bought this one pound in Thailand. <laughs> Why are you charging me Ten pounds? But imagine. that can you imagine? Yeah. yeah it's very expensive. And my my alloy, and it's yeah. not not very it's delicious. So delicious. Yeah. So delicious. <laughs> That's why I managed to learn. Well, it's like compulsory in Nantong. In Nantong, you can't help it. You've got to. You know, at least you know, from your from scratch, from your undermined, like you know, basic, basic uh, ingredients. If you sort of, if you are Thai person, you may not cook uh, well. You know, you can't not very tasty in terms of your own food. So why not just try it? And then later on, you become more used to it. I'm, I'm curious to know, like, when you were in England, what British food is alloy for Thai people? It's delicious oh, for Thai people. As a, as a Thai person. You know, you know British, British, um, in Britain, uh, British people are not good at what, what's, what's their uh, regime. Because yeah, it's very it's, simple. Very it's, simple. It's very yeah, simple. Yeah. Like fish and chips. Fish, fish and chips. <laughs> fish and chips. Okay. So, with that, Burger, food, pizza, fish and chips. Yeah, fish and chips. So, they're not good at regimes, British cuisines that have got their local food but not as delicious as other European countries like French and Spanish and you know Greek you know um, uh, they they seem to uh, follow like they like Chinese food, Indian food and Thai food in the UK. They're important. It's three uh, types of food. Chinese, Indian or not and Indian, yeah. Thai food is very important in the UK. Because um, you know in each they they say they they kind of lazy to cook and they admit that they admit that they accept that, well, they're not good at cooking, but they are uh, trying different cuisines from different countries. It's been Thai food they would love to try. Yes. Any, anything else? So I would like you to ask me, perhaps yeah. we've got like seven of you, eight, you can ask me one question. One question for one person, one question for one person, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy that you understand everything I'm saying. Sometimes I speak so fast because I'm, I'm thinking in English now, I don't think in time. But I'll teach you the technique. If you see me down in the corridor there, the staircase, you see me anywhere in the canteen, say hello to me in English and I would like to help you with English. Yes, how, one question, please. How long did it take you to learn English? Oh, maybe all my life. <laughs> <laughs> all my life. Well, I used to hate English. I didn't like English. I love mathematics. I love Thai language. Back then, I love social studies and art you know, subjects and all. But then my sister, she was a good example for me because she did her a major in English, a minor French, and I've heard her speak English to her foreign friends back then. And I was kind of jealous. It's like, oh, 
is this how you do it? You have to study, you know, can you teach me? So I'm typically a good teacher, and typically good in able to say influence, good influence for me. So I could, you know, uh, what, follow her footsteps. So I'm like, she'll be a good sound for me, I'm going to be the same. So I decided to learn to, to learn harder, which means back then, no smartphones, right? No computers back then, only textbooks, only English books. Go to library, go to the library, and just open books and read, you know, try to, and then I've got exchange students, right? Exchange students coming from all over, like, Australia, England, England, even America, even. So I approach and say, can I, can you help me teach, can you help me teach English? Can you read for me so I can copy your accent? You know, I'm sure you have the, um, what should I say, the uh, motivation, the, what should I say, inspiration to copy uh, the sort of native tongues of American accent or English accents. I think you must have uh, you know, watched so many movies and then observed, you know, uh, uh, so many like authoring YouTubes, you've got your idols, and I think you must have, have uh, gone through that kind of success in your study English so you can share with your friends because you're kind of like more confident, like me. So that's why I don't care when my friends say, no, you speak too much. No, I have to speak, otherwise people don't, you know, understand my idea. They think you're a fool, you're foolish, you're stupid, you know what I mean? So I have to speak. You have to become a bit more talkative. A little bit more talkative in Thai, I guess. Because when you speak Thai, right, you want to speak English as well. Think of that. Try and think of that. How about that, right? If, the more you speak Thai, the more you like to learn English as well. Am I right? Yes, you like to speak English like me, like Kevin? Yes, one day you will. Right. <laughs> oh, right, right, she's going outside. So yeah, 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 no problem. Uh, I'm glad you come back. <laughs> <laughs> one more question, please. Maybe two more. I would like to be uh, your motivation. I would like to inspire you to be able to. Uh, practice English with me and speak better English and become more confident with your subjects and uh, study and then be in tourism and attack. Yes. Oh. Like, can I ask you, do you like traveling? Yes. What country was your favorite country? Favorite country, Japan, Korea, England, Switzerland. I've been to Switzerland many times. My cousin, my cousin uh, is in Switzerland. She got married with a Swiss German and she lived in in Zurich so for about 18 years. So I visited them quite often when I uh, studied and then worked in the UK, traveled the UK, and flew over to Switzerland many, many times. Yes, many times. That's right. I, I have connections back to Switzerland. It's a beautiful country, beautiful country. Yeah. You'll be there, you'll be going back one day. You have to speak German, maybe English first? Yeah, English first, and then German, French maybe? Yes. I think uh, one of the great things about going to England is that when you're there, you can also travel to other European countries, oh, that's right? That's true. That's true. Kevin said, good point that. One of the greatest things, you know, uh, for you to be in the UK, you can travel. Like you're in Thailand, you travel to Laos, Cambodia, to Myanmar, you know, to the, your neighboring countries. Same with like the UK. You can travel on a low cost airline, easy, easy jet, you name it, from right now, or uh, many words from right now. Uh, the Irish Isles, you call it. That's, that's the. Um, uh, Virgin, you got Virgin as well. Virgin. Yeah, Virgin Scientist as well. Like, Easy Jet and, and some kind of yeah, Island Airlines, something like that. If it's Irish, yes. So many low cost airlines flying around European countries. Like France, Germany, yeah. Italy, yeah. something it's like that. Yeah. Within that one and a half hours, like Chiang Mai, Phuket, Thailand, Udon. Yeah, like that. Go to France. Like you, you can go to one weekend. One weekend you can go to France. Another weekend you can go to yeah, Italy. It's very near. Very near. One exactly. plane. Yeah. Same like Bangkok to Chiang Mai. Same distance. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So, uh, well, I would like to. Uh, can you ask me one question or two? I would like to. Yeah. Yeah. Come up from you, yes, please. Any questions? Yeah. Any questions? Don't be shy, it's okay. You can ask him any question about England, about UK, about... Yeah. How did I... Um, when I first went to England, I got a work permit. I didn't go there to, to, to study. Uh, I went to England to work. 
because I've got a web coming from the um, embassy. But the company is looking, recruiting, recruiting, looking for somebody who uh, you know, can speak English with a TOEIC totally score of 800 plus. TOEIC, not TOEIC, totally it's TOEIC. So I scored 880 something, 850, something like that. So along with other friends of mine who've got master's degrees, but they all scored the same. Uh, uh, scores and then they, we were accepted to you know uh, go to England and study and you know and, and, and we trained in London and all the way uh, to uh, south of England and then northwest of England so I worked back for two for nearly three years and then I've changed my status to got some money and saved her and saved some money right so I I've changed I left the job and then I enrolled a few, uh, a few courses in learning support learning support teaching Children with learning difficulties like Nancy Jones or Asperger's or DGS, uh, DHD, you know, learning, learning difficulties. Sorry, I have uh, enrolled that course in, in and I've got a job and changed from the uh, call center job to become a uh, support, support worker. Yes, yeah, yeah, support, support worker, worker, yeah. Support worker, yeah, so, uh, not, not to teach assistant, but to support worker, and I care, care to take care of uh, people with disabilities. Sometimes they're older, sometimes they're younger. So I found it very important. So I decided to work there longer and say that to my God, my, my permanent visa. But I decided to leave the country because of, uh, uh, you know, um, my, because of my family crisis and because of my personal life. But I decided, well, it's about time to rent out because I've been away for too long. I know you would love to go to England. I would I wish that you would. It's okay, but try to speak it. All right, thank you very much. And then I uh, got some money to study, and then I can work here again, and then got some money, got some money again, and I could do anything I wanted. I could travel around. So the pound sterling, you know, pound against the bar. The pound sterling against the bar. How much is it now? One pound? 43? Back then, 1999. Yes. In 1999, right through 2003, it was about 75 to 90. 75 to 90 baht a pound of sterling back then. I was rich back then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so actually, yeah, now it's a very good time because the British pound is crashing. Right. So you can so the Strong. so the, the tuition fee is easier to pay. Yeah, you pay less baht yeah. when you change the money. Yeah. So One you, question please from you. One that five maybe so I need to hear some this baht. I think it's 10 pounds 10 now. Pounds. Yeah, you can make 10 pounds an hour. 
different. So yes, yeah. back then, so now you, uh, you, you got you got teams as well. Good team to work in a restaurant, but not Thai restaurant. Yeah, because I'm tired to work in a Thai restaurant when I work in an uh, English restaurant, French restaurant, but I speak English there, an Indian restaurant. But they, they need more Indian people, but uh, sometimes I would sort of like to help them out. But the Thai restaurant, uh, they only invited me around because I was an entertainer. I could entertain the guests and I could um, you know, answer questions about Thai food, this and that. But then we're going to, to go to Thailand to visit next month, so would you like to recommend some place to visit, something like that? So I talk on and on, blah, 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 blah about Thailand. We're happy. And I kept serving them drinks. I kept upselling, upselling drinks. So I got so many, so, so much tips, you know, so much tips and that, you know, a lot of money. Yes. You know, earning a lot more, you know. And you ended up that night, I worked for work five hours, five hours. I started at six o'clock, I finished at 11, and then nearly midnight. So I had 25 pounds or 30 pounds altogether. But little tips, I got about 50 pounds. So that night, I got nearly 100 pounds. Nearly, that only five hours. 50 bar, 50, 50, 50 pounds tip, you know, alone, and then 25 to 30 pounds uh, for the, uh, the hours I work. So I hit my hours quite a lot. Yes. Yes, it's okay. You can work any So you, you could get about 10,000 baht per week. That's true. 10,000 baht. That's why I saved. No, I, didn't. I didn't use a lot of money. I didn't spend money like crazy. So I, I saved it and then I wanted to spend it in Europe, other European countries cheaper. And in Thailand, a lot cheaper. So I decided to That's why I kept flying around. <laughs> I kept flying, flying around back, back and forth. England to Thailand is why, because of that money. And then I got a full time job, right? I got a full-time job, got two positions, a sport worker, that's part-time, I earned about £800 a month, £800 a month I earned, that's part-time. And I earned, before that, sports editor, I earned nearly £1,500 a month, because I paid tax as well. And I even, when I came back to Thailand, I got rebates, had rebates as well, mm -hmm. the rebates, you know, the money back in my account as well. Yeah, as, as, a, as, as an international student, as a foreigner, you don't need to pay tax in the yes. UK. And that's why I decided to join St. Teresa because I used to work at St. Teresa uh, 20 years ago when I was uh, 25 years old. I used to work at St. Teresa at Walmart, from Walmart campus, a uh, vocational secretarial school, a vocational lab in Walmart before uh, international college. And before we moved, uh, 18 years ago, we, we moved to we've uh, established here as international college where you're studying now. That's why I decided to come back to help Madam, to help a rector, Miss Brianna, to help also I to uh, you know treat the old family that I used to love to me back then 20 years ago and now I've come back to help them and study a master's degree. I should have studied I should have studied master's degree a long time ago, but I was so what should I say? I I was so proud of myself because of my English, because of my portfolio, because of my you know, work experiences around the world. So I decided not to study anymore, but now this time, I have to become a teacher, a lecturer, right? If I want to teach you, I've got to earn at least master's degree, right? Master's degree, not bachelor's. But I'm ready, I'm ready, so yes, <laughs> to, to teach you. I hope you feel around, stay around one day. I've been working for tourism and hotel as well. I've been working for so many industries, uh, even outline industries, and uh, hotel tourism, of course, and training and teaching. In many businesses, in uh, you know, um, what should I say, uh, organisations and in education, I moved. I moved from uh, Phuket Rajabhat University. I used to work there for five years. Phuket Rajabhat University is international relations now. Also part time teacher. Now, sorry, I speak faster and faster and faster. <laughs> I think they get it. I'm <laughs> you understand? Yes. Wow. I love it. I'm impressed. They're amazing. These kids. No, no, no. I think we understand a Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. I would love to. That's why uh, Kevin, it's very kind of Kevin to invite me. New, who's going to come up to, to uh, inspire inspire your students, like our students, because it's Kate's class, and I will be talking about UK. And it's just, you know, I would like to come up. Okay, no problem. I've got the time. I'm going to come up. And I work downstairs. Uh, to in front of Madam's office downstairs in the floor. Are receptions here? So I work right near the door, near the gate. And, uh, so I'm sitting back. If I would like to, to guide, if I could teach, I would love to teach um, any English related subjects. Yeah, any, any English related subjects. But my, I did my major BA in English. So anything, whether it's maybe English business or English language. English, English for hotel. Teacher, English, English for hotel. Because of my direct experience, so I think I can, I can teach any 
Celtic. I love to teach. And, you know, run activities like Kids Night Night. We'll be doing, you know, uh, super, super, um, what should I say, um, English teaching and training. So much fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would like to say, I have no questions, so I would like to, to um, pray for you. And I'm hoping uh, that you will continue with Cemetery International College right through your last year. To the fourth year to gain your uh, Swiss Grand Swiss Hotel or any other uh, five star, six star hotel in Thailand and phone ship, you know. And I would like to uh, encourage you and support you with your English uh, trying to become this because I know that you need to grow and improve your English as time goes by. Only the second year, but you will have third and fourth year, two more years coming off, I'm sure, if you start it hard. I know, I, I've been, I, I'm a Thai student myself. I know what Thai students want. I know the nature of Thai students. You are not, you, are, you don't want to be lazy, you don't want to be sort of like discouraged, but, but sometimes you need to open up. You need to really be a bit more confident in the teacher. You know, can you slow down, teacher? Can you, you know, instead of asking your friends to you talk, you talk, you talk. What about you? You know, I understand this. I understand. Don't get me wrong. I understand. And I, and I walk to your shoes. I know how difficult it is for you to be encouraged. You know, and that's why I, I noticed when you said when your your friends ask questions. I don't know that time. So, which is good as an example of that. And every time you will learn, like. Uh, I would like to ask you personally to help your friend to learn English like yourself. All right then. Yes. Any time you see me around, Kevin and myself, we can help you learn English. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Round of applause, guys. Thank you very much.